Well, here we are in Rome. The sun is shining and we haven't got a care in the world. Yes, Rome is so beautiful. And it's such a beautiful day. This square looks lovely in the sunshine. And it's so nice sitting here with you. No trains to catch. No telephones to answer. No boring business people to talk to. Do you know it's been five years since our last holiday when we were married? And it's our first visit to Rome, too. It's like a second honeymoon. Yes, now we're alone together with all the time in the world. Yes. Just you and me in romantic Rome. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. May I sit here? Um, yes. Thank you. Just a minute. It's Jeffrey! Jeffrey Burton! Good God, Teresa Pilkington! Jeffrey, darling, how lovely to see you! It's been so long uh, since you... Teresa, this is my wife, Dorothy. Oh, your wife. Delighted to meet you. So you know Jeffrey, do you? Oh, yes. Jeffrey and I are old friends, aren't we, Jeffrey? Uh, yes. Uh, Ter what are you doing here in Rome, Teresa? You're old friends, are you? Yes. I've known Jeffrey for years and years, since we were both young and innocent. Good Lord, look at that magnificent, st look at that magnificent statue. Jeffrey, tell me, Miss Pilkington, what exactly do you mean by young and innocent? Well, well darling, before he met me, Jeffrey was just an innocent boy. Um, we met in kindergarten. Jeffrey, you know that's not what I mean. Well, what exactly do you mean? Good Lord! Look at that mag look at that magnificent mailbox, Jeffrey. Well, you don't see mailboxes like that in England, do you? Poor Jeffrey. I remember that day so well. The day that we met. This mountains were his life. his life was so boring, and he was a student at an awful college. He hated every minute of it. But Jeffrey, you told me you loved that college in the mountains. Oh uh, yes. Uh, yes. That's because he met me there. What? At the college? No, in the mountains. Come, Dorothy. I think we should go now. Sit down, Jeffrey. Oh, oh I think we should go now. The, the Coliseum closes at 6 o'clock, you know. Sit down, Jeffrey. It's only half past 11. Ah, yes. I remember that day so well. The day that he met me. We, uh... The mountains were so beautiful, and the sky was so blue. And Jeffrey was so green, I suppose. Green? What do you mean? Green. Young and innocent. Just the way you like them, I suppose. Well, really. Excuse me. Goodbye, Jeffrey. Delighted to meet you, Mrs. Burton. Uh, uh Teresa? Goodbye, Jeffrey. Oh, dear. So before you met her, you were just an innocent boy. You told me I was the first woman in your life, and I believed you. Yes, Dorothy. And I've been so honest with you. Yes, Dorothy. I've told you everything. Yes, Dorothy, I know. I was the first man in your life. The first and only man, Jeffrey. Uh, waiter, I'll have a martini, please. Certainly, sir. And for you, madam. Oh, Dorothy! Giovanni! Dorothy! Giovanni? Dorothy! It's so wonderful to see you again. Again? Have you met this man before? Well, Jeffrey. It must be five years, Dorothy. Six, Giovanni, six. And you've come back to Rome. Come back? What is he talking about? Well, Jeffrey. Come with me, Dorothy. Come. There's so much to talk to you about. Oh, um, yes. Um, excuse me, Jeffrey. Dorothy? Dorothy? Dorothy. <laughs> 